Hi, I'm Brent from Twilio TV, and this is Twilio Changelog. Twilio Changelog is your developer news show that catches you up on all the cool things that are happening inside of the Twilio developer ecosystem. Links for all of the topics that we cover in today's show can be found down in the description below, or you can go check out twilio.com slash changelog or the Twilio blog. We have a lot to cover today, so let's get started. We're super excited to announce that Segment has joined the Twilio family. Segment is the market leading customer data platform. How much data a company knows about its customers is directly related to how good the customer experience they can create through their communication. Unfortunately, usually that data is strewn across multiple silos and it makes it very difficult to craft a good customer experience because you can't create a very good single view of the customer data. Segment solves that problem by collecting all of the customer data into the same place, making it really easy for businesses to create a single customer view from that data. This will make it super simple when coupled with the Twilio customer engagement platform to create really good customer experiences. I am excited to see what the two companies can do now that they're able to work directly together. To find out more about the segment acquisition and how you can start using it in your applications, check out the links down below the video. Group text messages are a great way to keep in touch with friends and family. You can have long running conversations that are as simple as sending a single text message out and it goes to a whole group of people. This allows that group to continue talking to each other. I'm sure you're in a couple of group messages right now on your phone. Over the years, we've received a lot of requests to enable group text messaging via Twilio. Turns out that there's a lot of valid business cases. Let's say, for instance, a, a realtor wants to keep a conversations running with two home buyers who are buying a house together. That's why I was super excited when I found out that the Conversations API now has support for group text messaging. If you've used the Conversations API in the past, it makes it really easy to connect one-on-one -on -one conversations via a bunch of different channels like WhatsApp and chat and SMS. Now, using the Conversations API, using that same set of code, you can use group MMS messaging to connect three or more parties together into one conversation. The API works very similar to the way Conversations API works for one-to-one -one conversations, so your skills there will translate over. If you want to learn about how to get started with group MMS text messaging in the US and Canada, check out the links in the description below. We've got a quick start over in the docs that'll get you started. I receive a lot of phone calls from numbers that I don't recognize. Over the past couple months, it seems like it's intensified a ton, and frankly, I just ignore all of them. It would be really great if when somebody called me from a number I don't recognize, I would get some info about who they were and why they were calling and whether I should trust answering that call. Is it a robocaller? Is it some sort of scam? I would love to know that up front. That's why I'm super excited about Twilio's new Trust Hub that's now in public beta. Trust Hub is a unified console experience where you can turn on all of Twilio's new trusted communication features. We're launching with a couple of them out of the gate and we'll be adding more down the road. The first one in public beta is called Shaken Stir. This is a framework that allows you to set up a business profile whereby you can validate that your call can be trusted. Once you've set up a business profile, it's easy to turn this on without requiring any code. Also entering into private beta is Branded Calls, which is the next tier up from that. Branded Calls offers an experience whereby when you're calling a customer from your business, your brand will be represented and the reason that you're calling will be shown when the call is connected to the customer. I'm really excited about these features, both from what they offer to developers and honestly, for calls that I'll be receiving in the future so that I know whether I need to answer that call or not so that I don't miss anything important. Check out the Trust Hub beta today by heading down to the links in the description below. In a previous episode of Twilio Changelog, we mentioned that Verify Push had entered into private beta. Verify Push makes it really easy for you to add a cost-effective, low-friction user experience for verifying users in your application without requiring a phone number or an email address. You can just use push notification right inside the application. Well, I'm excited to say that this is now in public beta, so if you didn't get a chance to get into the private beta, you can now use it now that it's in public beta to add Verify Push to your applications. Find out more about the Verify Push beta, you guessed it, down in the description below the video. And speaking of Verify, 
Twilio Verify and Twilio Lookup are now HIPAA eligible. We've discussed HIPAA eligibility on previous episodes of Twilio Changelog as well. There's a lot of details and there's a growing, growing list of products that are HIPAA eligible. For all of the details about how to architect your applications for HIPAA compliance and for that full list of Twilio products that are HIPAA eligible, check out the links down in the description below and read about what you can use in your HIPAA compliant applications today. This is but a small sample of all of the things that are being worked on at Twilio right now. To stay up to date, you'll want to check out twilio.com slash blog and twilio.com slash changelog to make sure that you're keeping up to date with all of the new things as they come out. If you've enjoyed this video, there's a pretty good chance you'll like something else on this channel. In particular, I picked out this video just for you. It comes from our Built in a Day series with Christine Sunu. I'll see you on the next Twilio changelog. And until then, I'm out of here. Bye, friends.